Hey guys, Cycle Gaz here today, and uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of tips on how to lock your bike. Uh, you know, don't lock it the right way, your bike could easily get stolen, so it's important to make sure you do try and lock it in the safest way possible. Um, obviously, a couple of decent locks is always going to help, but uh, there's a few other little tricks and interesting things you can purchase to uh, make things a bit better. So here's my bike, uh, just locked it up, and currently got a little bit more than you actually need here just for example purposes um, so obviously first things first you need to choose where you're gonna lock your bike and obviously I've gone for a standard Sheffield stand uh, which is tarmacked into the floor and not bolted uh, if you're gonna leave your bike overnight then I'll suggest finding something that's properly in the ground and not something that's just bolted to it because bolts are fairly easy to undo with the right tools uh, you need something a little bit harder to uh, to get through tarmac. They're saying that anything's uh, easy to get into with the right tools. So your bike is never going to be fully safe if it's left outside. Just remember that. So another good thing is not to choose something like a short signpost, which uh, just has something a small sign bolted to the top of it, because um, all you need to do is unbolt the stuff at the top, lift the bike over, and uh, if you've not locks the wheels and you just lock the frame then someone can actually just ride away with it while securing the lock some else some other way so first things first put your, find your stand put your bike next to the stand and you want to try and lock both wheels and the frame to the to the stand so you've got a couple of ways to do that so as an example the front lock we got this connected around the, the stand through the front wheel and I got here a simple little cable lock these are fairly easy to break, so I wouldn't try and rely on it, but you see it's running through the frame, through the rear wheel, and looped back around. So technically, with just this lock and that cable, the bike is secured, and it's not gonna be easy to take it away. Um, personally, I don't like to use the, those cable locks too much. Uh, I just like to uh, use two D-locks. So at the back, I've got a a small kryptonite lock which just fits around um, so I've got this around this post here and it goes through the frame so it doesn't actually lock around the frame it locks through the rear triangle it's not going to basically it's not going to be easy to take that you can't take that rear wheel off basically that's the way it's meant to work and I've got this nice and small so it's tight and you can't fit a jack in there to try and um, push the, the lock apart uh, which is one common method with D-locks and again this this one here this is fairly tight you know you can't really wiggle around any room to get a, a D-lock in there so that's always good um, common things which are taken are the saddle and the saddle posts so what I got here is just this inner tube and inside this inner tube is an old piece of chain which I've just um, tied together um, and it just makes Makes it, so even though this isn't quick release, you know, this tool is fairly common, you, know, you just need a hex key, uh, so it's fairly common for those things to go missing. So that's one way to uh, to secure it, and I've just got a piece of inner tube put around it, which I cut to size, uh, just to uh, stop the weather affecting it, and uh, to make it a little bit less obvious about what it is. Obviously, when you're locking your bike, you want to take everything off it, so don't forget your computers, water bottles and any other sort of like bungee cord things that you have. I've got uh, one final trick up my sleeve and that's just uh, an alarm padlock. It's kind of hard to see here if you don't know where it is or what to look for. You can kind of lock it anything to the bike but I always suggest putting it something that moves um, and basically you move the, al the alarm padlock, it makes a sound and um, to warn people off something like 120 decibels and then Within the next X amount of time, if something uh, moves it again, then it will make this like really, really loud like alarm sound for like 30 seconds, and then it, it keeps going on and on and on and on and on. Uh, you know, you touch it again, does the same thing, um, and then it resets, so you've got that that time frame again. But um, I'll make another video later when I'm somewhere a little bit less uh, residential uh, to, to show you the sound. Um, it is pretty loud and uh, if I don't put my key in properly it's uh, it's not going to turn off um, but yeah that's uh, that's how you lock your bike 